the first thing that we need to do is select an image and import it into the stage or onto the stage rather okay and um, my personal belief is that this tutorial or this effect works best with uh, uh, shiny objects and metallic objects okay now that's not to say that anything else might not look good you know that's completely up to your eye you know use uh, your judgment however the the same principles apply we are going to um, make sure that our shine effect goes directly on a lot of the bright spots within our image okay and you can see that just by looking at our image from uh, you know um, a little bit far away we could see that there are a few bright spots on the image itself one is like right in the front and we're not going to forget about the glass here of course glass is very shiny and of course we have some guns here and a little bit on the left wing and more so on the right wing and we got a little bit on the tail section okay so those are going to be our main focuses or where our focus is going to be so let's go ahead and zoom in and then what we do is just start to trace with the line tool and if you have a um, uh, a tablet at home you can just use your your pen to follow along and of course we have to create a new layer skip that step huh let's lock our our ship layer okay and now we just want to outline the shiny parts of the ship. Okay. Don't worry if it's slow and methodical. If it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Just bring that right back up here. Okay, and now we'll focus on the rear section. Not too much though, because that's it's kind of dark, so we'll just keep it like that. And now work on the guns a little bit. Okay, and basically just create a lot of simple outlines. And if this is your first time, try to keep it small too but you want to do a lot of uh, simple shapes all the way across your image okay because as the light passes through uh, the user the user's eye can't really focus on one particular spot and figure out what's happening okay it's kinda like a, like just a trick of the eye and we want it to our light source to move by fairly quickly Okay. Now we'll work up here a little bit. And let's bring this over and then all the way down. Okay, how about this area here? Remember, you don't necessarily have to cover a lot, but I just would like to do it because it's uh, it's a very neat effect and it looks a lot better when you put some time into it. Okay. That's okay. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know, along every single line. Just make sure that you stay within the boundaries of what it is that you're trying to uh, uh, make the effect happen with. Let's move this up. Okay. We'll just keep that right here, there, there, and straight across. Okay, and let's just go back over real quick. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's just give it a, one more here. Sorry if this is like slow and methodical. Okay, I'm done. Always the perfectionist. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and delete our, or not delete, but um, hide our, our layer. And then we want to fill in everything. Oops, no. Let's 
the wrong one. Fill in every shape. Okay, we got a couple whose gaps aren't closed. There and there, okay. And now the main portion is done. So at this point, what we need to do is create another layer. And let's back out a little bit here. Okay, and now we are going to create our light source. So we just want to use our rectangle tool and create a very long and slender box there we go that should be good okay and now if it's not already open open up your color mixer and then we want to go to a linear gradient of course with our fill tool and here is the type of setup that you want you want to uh, two colors on either side of white okay but these two colors their alpha has to be down to zero okay so it doesn't really matter what color it is because you're not going to be able to see it but as long as there is a white directly in the middle with a hundred percent then we have our light source okay so now that we have our light source we'll go ahead and convert it into a movie clip press F8 doesn't really matter what you call it, but I'm going to call it light. And then rotate it just a little bit. Okay. And now I want to put my layer 3 under layer 2. And let's get rid of the box there. Okay. Move it down just a little bit. And then we'll create another key or we'll create a frame on all three layers. But on the middle layer, let's create a keyframe and then move our light source past our ship here. Okay. Once we do that, create motion tween and then right click on layer 2 click mask and there we go okay so now when we test out our movie this is what you see now of course you could speed this up you could slow this down uh, adjust it to what you think is right and it probably could be a little bit faster but alright let's go ahead and see what happens if we do make it a little bit faster a little better okay so otherwise I mean you could just adjust it to, to your liking and um, you know to your style and of course to your image that you're actually using the effect for but um, you know this is a very handy effect to, to draw attention from the eye to a specific object on uh, you know on your website or on you know your anima or in your animation whatever the case may be so it's a very handy little effect and by now you should you should know how to create it so thank you very much for watching Tutor Pipes Tutorials